All right, I focused on some fun stuff and got some fun results to share. This is a, a color grid that I've created to sort of um, indicate which player base you're at. A little bit of um, a sort of spatial awareness. You can feel where you are in the arena more than just think where you are in the arena. Oh, I'm like, check it out. I'm near Green's base. Um, we're here. I'm back at um, Teal's base. Now back at my own base. Um, and I've uh, got all these, the, the colors and everything are um, are blended really smoothly. So what's happening is, check this out, if I actually rotate the camera, this is the one issue I've got to solve next, is uh, rotating the camera. If I, check it out, we're using about 600 megs right now. If I rotate the camera, it's going to use a lot more and it's going to slow way down. That was just huge. I went down to one frame a second because there, every single one of these um, these blocks here, this is like a, it's creating a separate whole model for every single one of these because it's got so many different varied colors. It's creating this gradient of colors for every single one of these players. So there's like a ton of different blocks rather than just having four blocks for the the ground um, models. There's now. Um, you know, hundreds and hundreds of models that it has to go and then rotate to the new rotation and all that with the new color values. So I've got some ideas on how I could fix that. That's like the last hurdle as far as making these colors look um, look good and perform well. But I'm very happy with the results so far. And check it out. You can see um, it's kind of subtle, but when you're at a player's home base, it's not only changing the ground, but it's also changing a slight overlay color. If you look at the top half of the screen, there is, um, right now, there's just a pure white overlay going on. Um, it's really subtle, so it's kind of hard to notice, but check it out. As I move towards um, this base right here, the actual top half of the screen is changing its hue to that blue color. And if I go to the en enemy's purple base right here, same thing's happening. It's real. It's kind of not that noticeable, but it does give you sort of a, once again, more of that subtle or um, subconscious effect. And it's also creating, creating a lot more, um, it's solving the problem of drabness. I was, gosh, for weeks, months, I was just like, this level's drab. It's so drab. And now it feels a lot less drab. It's just got nice colors. Everything's popping. And also the player is popping off of it too a bit more. So... Um, there's a little bit more shadow being applied. You've got a nice dark shadow being extended off of the player right there. And also the player itself is is darkened. I'm not sure if I like that completely. It's kind of nice to see some contrast on the player and pop the player off the ground. But it might be nice, more nice to see how the player used to be um, a little bit less shaded. So I'll need to work with that. It's, it's a matter of casting the voxels and um and making them uh do a nice dark shadow if they've cast it a little bit away from you but if they hit something immediately then they shouldn't be casting um so there's a lot of uh yeah there's a lot of that kind of stuff in my mind right now but i'm really happy with these results um you can see if i if i rotate the camera and i've already rotated through those there's no problem with it rotating at normal speed, but if I go to any other rotation that it hasn't done yet, it's gonna go have to recache all those models, and that's why it takes forever for it to do that frame. So, gotta solve that issue. But overall, I'm really happy with how it's looking and feeling. I haven't even tried it with other other players yet. Let's see that real quick. Oh, it's a hot day. Making my computer fan run. All right, we got some other. Let's turn off God mode. Gosh, this is actually looking so much better. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. Let's go find some other players. See what's happening. Other AI players, we say. This is kind of cool because now I can tell I'm at Green's base, right? I'm not really as confused. I'm not confused with my location in the level as much. And of course, I will need to do some some uh, 
some stuff so it's universal, right? Like maybe a green's base has some kind of special obelisk in it or something that really um, makes it definitely, you can definitely tell that it's green and it, even if you're colorblind, right? If this is, you know, considering all types of players, um, some players are not gonna be able to see these color differences. So there needs to be some kind of actual model that's different or something like that. I have a lot of plans for the the uh, battlegrounds and how it should look and maybe I'm probably gonna try a bunch of different kinds of battlegrounds there's a little bug with some pixels being left behind um, yeah so there's lots of stuff to experiment with still but I'm happy with these uh, initial results thanks for watching this video